Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is September favorites. I am including beauty and non-beauty. I don't usually include non-beauty but I think that's what I'm going to try and start doing. So my first favorite is um, that September's over. <laughs> um, I love October except for the first half of my dad's birthday in October, but that's okay. But my birthday's in October and Halloween's in October and pumpkins and spookiness and we can watch Hocus Pocus. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to jump right on in. I have a couple of favorites I want to show you and I'm just going to start with beauty. I have like four beauty things, but anyways, stick around. This lipstick is Kate Rommel. Or, yeah, the Kate Moss by Ramel. <laughs> Can you guess which one it is? It's 107, which is the color, the shade that Zoella infamously uses. And this is what it looks like. Now, it looks quite different on me than it does on her, of course. But I really love it. It's a lovely berry tone red. And, um, I never noticed that there were, like, a smell to these lipsticks. This is my, oops, this is my first Kate Moss uh, lipstick and I've heard so much about them but no one's ever mentioned the smell. Maybe they have. Now the smell a lot of people don't like that I uh, recently discovered. I kind of like the smell but it is a really strong fragrance but um the smell. It's <laughs> my description of this smell is going to be so weird. Um, it reminds me of cherry Coca-Cola. Now, cherry Coca-Cola does not smell like this. But if it's <laughs> if cherry Coca-Cola smelled the way it tastes, this would be the smell. And a lot of people don't like the smell. At first, I didn't, but I just I can't stop smelling it. I don't know what it is. But I, okay, I love the lipstick because of the shade. Um, it does have a bit of longevity problems. Is that how you say it? Long, longevity? Sure. Um, <laughs> um, it doesn't last super long on the lips. But I really do like this color. And it's not drying. I just, I really like it. I think this is a great, great, great drugstore lipstick for the fall. My next favorite is this lipstick. It is the Viva Glam 2 by Rihanna. I bet you guys thought I was going to say um, Miley Cyrus. So this one's actually been out for a while. And MAC was at the makeup show SF. And they had all their lipsticks out for display. But you, they weren't available to buy there, which was stupid in my opinion, but then they give you discounts to go to the PAL store to get the lipstick and then I forgot because I wanted this one and I thought I'll just go back again because I had two day tickets. I don't know that. I'm, I'm sorry. I flipped you off. Um, first day I was swatching like oh, I'll just buy it tomorrow, but no. They, they don't, they didn't sell the, their lipsticks, that words. Okay, so I finally was just able to get this. I did get the Miley Cyrus Viva Glam too, but um, this is just a lovely nude. It's a great nude. I'm actually wearing it on my lips, but it is mixed with Posh Spice by Jeffree Star Cosmetics because I was wearing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics at first, and I kind of just I want to switch up and film this. Also came from the makeup show. Like almost everything they have here was from the makeup show. This is by Basame. It is the 1930s mascara. This is a hairless mascara. Like it's just a wand and has little grooves in it. Now I love this mascara because it feels like you're not wearing any. Um, it doesn't make your lashes like long or volumized because I don't, you know, in the 1930s, I don't think they were completely all about that. Um, but this mascara really darkens the lashes and it doesn't make it look like you have more. It brings out your more natural lashes and I love this because it feels like you're not wearing a mascara. There's no flaking, no dryness, no hard crusty shit. 
It just it doesn't feel like you're wearing it, but but you are. And this packaging. <gasps> I almost dropped it. <laughs> this packaging's amazing. Like, ugh. Oh, I no. <laughs> My last actual makeup product favorite. The Visart palette. <sighs> Again, I got it from the makeup show. Now, these are stupid expensive. I know. Um, at the makeup show, each palette was $20 off, so instead of 80, it was 60. That's still stupid expensive. I know. I wasn't planning on getting this one, but a lot of people talk about this one, and I'm like, no, no. This reminds me of one of the Stila Windows to the Soul palettes, but shimmery, and this is matte. I, okay, so this is the Zero One Neutral Matte, and oh my god. Every time I want like a natural, easy, slap on the eye makeup look, like I'm in a rush or I, I'm in a rut and I don't know what to apply my eyes, I go to this. Okay, true story. I, I got the Vice 4 by Urban Decay and I was putting, like, you know, I was putting the eyeshadow on and... <sighs> A few of those shadows from the Urban Decay, the Vice palettes, are really hard to blend. So, I wasn't in the mood to blend <laughs> my eyeshadow. So, I took it off and I got this. And I I made an Instagram about the other palette I actually used in that case. Um, these Vice Art palettes, they blow other palettes away. This is so easily blendable. I know it's originally $80. And the colors are, you know, they exist in other palettes. But these are so buttery, so smooth, and they just blend so easily. They, they blend so easily. Like, now I'm expecting or I'm realizing how other shadows don't blend so easily because of this. And this has just been everything to me this month. And I'm just going to keep on using it because this is amazing. If you can get one of the palettes, um, the thing is I would recommend another Visart palette, but I keep using this one. Anyways. Okay, I have two brushes that I got from the makeup show and that I need to um, show you guys. So this one, oops. <laughs> Ignore the one on the bottom. This one is a crease brush and it's by Cosette. This just fits perfectly. It's kind of like a domed brush, if that's the right word. Or it was tapered. Taper, I don't know, whatever. Um, it just, it blends. It helps blend so easily. The bristles are very nice and soft and it's just lovely. And this one is by Senna Cosmetics and this is um, Contour Blush 34. I use this just for contour, not for blush, but just my contour right there. And this fits like perfectly and it blends lovely. You can just swirl it like that. That's, that's how I do it, whether it's right or wrong way. It works for me, so yeah. Um, I've just been obsessed with these brushes. Like, I need to use them every day, and I do use them every day, and I just think they're lovely. Okay, so I only used this product uh, three times, but um, yeah, I I need to give this a shout out. The original vegan brush shampoo by the London Brush Company. They have a couple of other scents, but this one is Young Coconut Milk. I so all you do. It's, it's it's a shampoo soap bar that's in there and you run under warm water you take your brush you swirl it in get it all nice and lathered and everything and I'll just insert a demo here I'm sure I have a dirty brush although I just used this but okay this just makes washing brushes easy and fast like it gets the makeup out super fast like no more you know Mac 
cleaning spray, no more brush sprays and running through it with paper towels. A baby shampoo is okay, but I feel like that is a little more work. This is just, this just makes it so easy, and it was like. $20, but this is going to last like a thousand washes, and I know I'm not going to count like a thousand washes, but like this is just, um, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, my last beauty favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Set, Pro Spray and Set, whatever, Set Spray, Drugstore. How many times do I feature drugstore things other than the Kate Moss lipstick I just shared? Um... <laughs> I've been using this for a while, but um, I'm like realizing just how amazing it actually is. Like I was using it and then I stopped using it and I went back to using it again. I was doing, um, helping out for makeup on a student short film at my school and we had to make the 10 year old actress look dirty and we were filming in the hot sun, 80. 90 degrees weather, and to make her look dirty, um, the head MUA and I, we just used, um, dark foundation and mixed a dark matte brown eyeshadow, and with it and it matched her skin tone, looked like dirt, it was beautiful. This made that last so much longer than without any other setting powder, without a spray, like, um, Let's see, the head MUA at first she used a setting powder and it worked but with the sweat and the sun it was so I arrived because she had to go to work so I had to like take over. I told her about the spray and we used it and like one touch up on that makeup for like a 12 hour day in the hot sun, just remember hot sun okay and it's like not natural look it's for special effect makeup but this is amazing i use it on myself too and it really does last through sweat and heat and everything so okay now i'm gonna do my non-beauty favorites and one of them is this tea i'm a tea junkie i love tea this one is by traditional medicinals and they're one of the best like bag tea you know brand i love and this is raspberry leaf basically all their tea is naturally caffeine free and it's herbal tea and it's great for you and this is such like a cute brand because on the back it like has a personality of the tea the herbal power and the reason to love and the taste um my fa all-time favorite one by traditional medicinals is roasted dandelion but i've been using this raspberry leaf because since September 9th, I had a lot of pelvic slash ovary pain like two weeks before I was going to start my period. So why did, why, how does that factor in with this? I'll tell you. So the personality of the raspberry leaf is gently nurturing and a friend of a woman. The herbal power it supports healthy menstruation, tones the uterus, and may be used for menstrual cramps. So I've been using this. Um, now it didn't like work when I was having that horrible, horrible pain because that horrible pain turned out to be ovarian cysts and a whole bunch of just whatever. Um, other stuff. I know like cysts. Um, they're generally harmless, but some women can get really big ones where they have to be removed. Mine didn't have to be removed, but one was 1.3 centimeters and the other was 1.6. And like 1.8 to 2 centimeters is when you have to go to surgery to move. So luckily, anyways, that's kind of taken care of now. But now, I don't know. I'm going to explain more about that later because I'm going to bring back like the Perspire Inspire segment. If you guys don't know, I used to do a Perspire Inspire channel and I want to bring that back to this segment where I talk about weight loss, um, trying to be healthy, kind of encouraging other people to be healthy with me because I have to now go on a diet and weight loss journey, basically. Anyways, that's for another video. <laughs> um, but I actually did start my period earlier this week and I feel like this just 
it doesn't cure cramps, but I have really, really bad cramps. But it, so it kind of eases them, and I don't know, it tastes really good. It's better than a PMS tea. There's literally a PMS tea <laughs> by this company that won't, didn't taste good. Um, but this this tastes really good, and I kind of felt kind of more of a soothing calmness during that lovely time of the month. So my other favorites are mostly songs that I can't stop listening to, and I'm gonna play a little bit of the song. So. I'm not stealing anything. <laughs> okay, so the first songs are all by L. King. Now, you've probably heard this song. It's like her hit song right now. That's how I There's this one that a lot of people say reminds them of Wade in the Water, but I love this one. Is this one? It's just she has a super super catchy voice, and I just keep singing all these songs. I have been obsessed with her voice, with her songs, everything, everything. <laughs> And now we have come to the meh, the meh, the one where you want it to love, you kind of like it, but you kind of hate it. It's just in the middle. It's meh. So I only have one, as usual-ish. Um, it's Model in the Bottle. This was from the uh, the makeup show. And what this is, it's a setting spray. Now Model in the Bottle has like two types of sprays where... They have one for normal skin and one for sensitive skin formula. So, of course, I got the sensitive skin formula. And I used this a couple of times. And one thing, I don't think it keeps everything in place. I really much prefer the L'Oreal. It's weird to have two setting sprays um, in this video. Um, and also, when this dries, I, th I think it's this. Um, I feel like I get this yellow tint on my face like there's this like film that covers my face like I don't know if that makes any sense it says it you know it's supposed to um you know keeps it on keeps it matte but I feel like there's the it doesn't look natural I just I don't like it and I don't like the smell of this like Yeah, I just, it smells like alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol, I think, um, but badly, because rubbing alcohol smell doesn't really bother me, but it bothers me if I have to spray it on my face. So, those are my favorites. What are some of yours? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked it or agreed with any of these favorites, give this video a thumbs up. If you did it, then give it a thumbs down. Don't leave anything in the comments. Goodbye. Um... <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any requests, suggestions, want to know more about what I was talking about for Perspire Inspire, or let me know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let's, let's get a connection going on. So thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And remember to love others, but first and foremost, always love yourself. Bye.